You already know what it is, man. Black Elite Battle League, Black Aladdin TV. We back with another one, man. Who we got in the building? We got King Kamal Z, Father Time, Gun by God, your grandmama, and your mama. Famous favorite rapper. Woo, that's a lot. Talk spicy, man. SummerSlam, July 17th, man. What we doing? Who you got coming up? All right, I got Jay Lopez. Salute to him, but he's my next victim. July 17th is going down on Black Elite Battle League. King Kamal Z versus Jay Lopez. We also got a card full up. The main event, my young brother Black Aladdin versus A-Ward. Killer B versus Catboy. That should be a great Milwaukee classic. Yes. And of course, Jig versus Floss the Boss. Indeed. Telling everybody come outside and get laid down outside. I wanted to see Steezy and Problem Child, man. Like, what's, what's up? Like... What they doing, man? Like, what, man? Come on, man. We gotta see it's that. It's not going down. Nah, man. I think that Steezy. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm gonna talk to Steezy. I don't want to say too much. Steezy, man. come outside. You've been around in this game too long. Come outside and and get what you got for problem child. Yeah, man. Handle your business, man. But other than that, though, uh, okay. Let's let's jump right into it. Uh, King Kamazi versus J Lopez. Who wins this battle first and foremost? All right. Well, obviously, if you a battle rapper, don't say you're gonna win. You need to stop. I'm gonna win, but I'm gonna give you a reason. Not because I'm favorite to myself, which I am. J. Lopez, salute. This is a battle for the culture, all right? This battle, the other battles is great and they have def, def, different type of potential. This one is strictly for the culture because J. Lopez is about the culture. I'm about the culture. But again, this is a Michael Jordan versus Michael Red type of dynamic. And you know, who's, you know who the ball head was gonna deliver these rings and let it ring. You know what's going down. So I'm gonna take this in a one round fashion. You know, I'm sure Jay Lopez is gonna come prepared, but I stay prepared. I was born for this. Facts, facts. Do you feel like, okay, do you respect Jay Lopez's pen and why? Actually, I do. A lot of people I say are critical of Jay Lopez. They say he's just performance and not bars. But if you listen to Jay Lopez, He's different. He's unorthodox. See, I analyze Jay Lopez. So I actually respect Lopez Penn and his performance. And I love his, he's different. And he's definitely got an original lane and a whole different type of style. I've seen him talk to people. I've seen him add punches with it. So I don't underestimate Lopez. I just know my pen, my performance, and my overall energy aura is a bit too much. You did? Right. That's a fact. Okay, so what's some things that... Um you feel like you like that Lopez does? Like, is it his energy or his wordplay or what? Like, what is it about him that's like, okay, I want to take him? Jay Lopez definitely brings something new and refreshing to the culture. Because I asked you, I'm like, you know, you, you remember, not to cut you off, you remember you told me, like, you really finna be done with this shit. Like, right, you're not, right, you, you right. focus on your music, you getting kids, kids out here playing your shit, you know what I mean, OGs. Yes, sir. It's street niggas who don't even listen to the type of music you make who actually playing your shit. Yes, you sir. You feel me? So you was gonna really focus on more of that. And but like, you said if it was, if you was to come outside, who was right. the two names you told me? So they know I'm not bullshit. I say, from, first of all, I, I need plates. I said there's only two names in Milwaukee, in Milwaukee. that make me come outside because first of all, both these battles were supposed to happen for years. One, of course, is going down July 17th, which is finalized me versus Jay Lopez, obviously. The next one is Killer B, because me and Killer was supposed to handle this business of years back. So Lopez and Killer are the only names in Milwaukee that really make me come outside. Because beside that, I love battle rap, but the politics, the whole ass antics and funniness, I'm not with. I love the art form and I love the competition, but the extra shit, they can miss me with that. Right. So Lopez and Killer B, them the ones who I want from Milwaukee. So what was it about Lopez where you like... Okay, he was one of the top two picks. Lopez is different. You see what I'm saying? Like with Lopez, you you gotta come unorthodox too because with Lopez, you can't just depend on a pen game, you gotta have a performance. And beside the performance, you gotta have a certain type of energy. Cause like I said, he's different. You know, he analyzes battles even when he started. He always came, like from, to me, was purely about the culture. I, 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 Lopez, you can tell when he battle rap, he got a passion for it. Me, I got a passion for this shit. So there's no better matches than both people who don't care about views and likes and just doing it for what they do. And all that other shit, the money, the accolades, the views uh, come organically after that you lay it down. So we're going to have a war come July 17th. If he comes any near like I'm coming, it's going to be a classic battle for the culture on 
black and neat. That's real talk, man. So what's some things about Lopez when you feel like, eh, he ain't this, he ain't that good at that? I could probably, you know what I mean? This is the reason why I'm gonna be able to smoke see, with ease. I got to me. I got a lot of different ways I could beat somebody. You see what I'm saying? I'm very, I don't even have one technique or one style. You got certain people that are punchers, certain people that angle, set up. My shit is like how Bruce Lee used to it's describe his Jeet Kune Do. I got the style of no style. <laughs> oh. Straight up, I can go I street shit, that conscious shit, this shit I live. And then being around the world and have a lot of experiences, I'm gonna bring some shit to his plate that's gonna be very, right. very heavy for him to handle. And I know he got, you know, great performance, but his pen game, he's gonna have to raise his pen to come in there July 17th against King Kamazi. Mm. Like, I got love for him, but I'm not gonna play with no motherfucker July 17th. Mm. Not even a little bit. <laughs> not even a little bit. Talk spicy! Let's, this ain't even talk Let's spicy. go! This ain't even talk spicy. This is my natural shit. I know! I don't Let's got go! Personal. If I had something personal against Lopez, it'd even been more, but nothing personal. This is straight bars. Right. But again, when I come in that ring, we could be best friends. If you my mama battling me, my uncle, as soon as yeah. we in that battle, I have no friends and no family for the duration of that battle. <laughs> my identical twin was there, I murder him in the ring. And Fact. I say sorry, we'll smoke and drink afterward. So if I have a long five, six minutes we going at it, I don't got a motherfucking friend in there. <laughs> I don't trust nobody. Hey, hey, I'm loving this. I'm not straight up. Lie. See what I'm saying? Now 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 we build the anticipation for this match a little bit more. You feel me? That's cause Lopez ain't really been talking his shit. No. I seen they posted a flyer for another battle and shit, right. but to me, that's like, I feel like if a, if, if I had King Kamazi coming up, I'd be sharing the shit off that flyer, you feel me? So, we just, don't, just from that point of view, because I'm pretty sure if he had like Lux or somebody coming up, he would have shared the shit on the time. Right, right. Well, I can't say- I, I can't. gotta put, niggas gotta put some respect on your name, okay? True. Again, I'm not gonna say the reasons why. No, I did see myself, he do got uh, Young Cannon coming up. Young Cannon ain't no joke either. And um, so maybe he's overly focused on Young Cannon, maybe he's not. I don't underestimate nobody. You, be, you better you than Young Cannon, though. Said, I, I could beat Young Cannon, but again, maybe a lot of people go according to views and to go to who's more popular. So maybe put all this emphasis on Young Cannon, but this is going to be recorded. It'd be a fatal lyrical mistake to fuck around and come in there against me and put all your shit ready for, all your clips ready for, big, for Young Cannon. You know what I'm saying? When mm -hmm. I'm about to shoot the real cannon on a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, what's one of your favorite Joe Lopez, uh, J. Lopez battles? I like, you know, I, I watched a few of them. I like his battle against Bricks Belvedere. Because he was, it was in front of the Smack PG crowd. I believe it was uh, maybe in Cleveland somewhere. And in that battle, um, Lopez, again, we know Lopez's performance and energy. But I saw some hard-hitting punchlines, and that's when I really, really started respecting L Lopez Penn. Like, okay, Lopez is more than just, you know, the half-dead demonology little aura he got and yeah, unorthodox. Yeah. I said, okay, he got some stuff. I like that shit too, though. That's what separates him from the rest of me. Most definitely. I like, I like the variety. Like, uh, his his vocabulary is big as fuck. You know and he's I mean? out of the box. He's not stuck in the yeah, box. Yeah, it ain't, and it ain't like the normal big words you usually hear. It's some shit. I'm like, oh shit, I didn't know that that was a word. And, and you know, Lopez study. I can yeah. tell when I listen to him. Lopez study some shit. You know, and he bring that every fourth to a battle. So if you're a one dimensional puncher, a one dimensional schemer, Lopez will have too much for you. So mm -hmm. I respect that about him. But fucking around with King Kumar Z. I'm multi dimensional, multi angle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you got to be a little bit. You got it, man. Bring your A game to that motherfucker July 17th, Joe. Hey, I like that all blacks bucks fit, man. Where you come that, man? Show them the hat. I don't think they see the hat for real, man. Show them the hat for bucks. real, man. And by the way, we play it tonight. Little 30 second side note. If the bucks play bucks ball, get that ball to Drew Holiday. Let the PG be the PG. Giannis, get down on that block. Lopez pay big. Ref, stop that bullshit. That's bullshit cheating in Phoenix. <laughs> Chris Paul is not going to have another game like that. I don't even want to see them okay. damn um, them okay. insurance commercials no more. With uh, this quick, quick basketball analogy. Yes, sir. If, if you and Lopez was the Suns versus the Bucks in the finals, who would be the Bucks? Who would be the Suns? See, that, that's not a, a fair question. I'm going to automatically pick the Bucks. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm, I'm If you're doing, picking the bucks, then you picking the bucks. I'm picking the bucks. I think, I, I feel the bucks can win in six. Mm. Like we creep the game tonight, we don't get it. In so six. you think Lopez can get that close? 
I think, you know what, out of respect for what he's done, again, I have multiple co extreme confidence for myself. Yeah, Lopez definitely deserves to be there because regardless of whether it's this close or that close, they there. So he definitely deserves to be there. But what's this shit I was hearing about Lopez still in a uh, hamburger or some shit? I see you say that in your battle against example. You know, the funny thing is I was never there. I wasn't at that battle where Lopez, and I don't know what, you know, they said that Lopez stole a hamburger, ate a hamburger, I didn't pay for it, or maybe he did, maybe he did it. It was just a little battle rap gas, we all use it. Because yeah. first of all, I'm not into rumors and shit unless it's a little joke, funny shit. Right. What I, what I don't like about battle rap or some real shit is cats, and I'm glad Smack stopped this too, let cats bring in court papers and personal shit and what a baby mama said on child support. That's high rate snitching that shit to me. But yeah. hood things, remember back in the day we didn't do none of that snitching shit when we battled. But if there was a rumor that you got knocked the fuck out, or that you were working with the people, or that you were doing some bogus shit, that's fair game. Yeah. So when I said that about, um, you know, uh, example, the whole angle was about how example was telling everything. And because he did expose Lopez, but and him telling everything, it was almost like he was the snitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I fucked with example too. Battle rap shit. Everything is battle rap. Game. Battle rap. Battle rap shit. All right, go. But so also, uh, it was never really no real smoke with your example or nothing like that. Nah, man. I fucked with example. Example fucks with me. I support example business. He buy my juices. I done bought his book. We spend money together. That's how black business really is. Now, once we again, once we battle, now I try to come for example, throat. You can watch the battle again. But after the battle, was never no hard feelings. It was a little controversy over the winnings and that. But I that was still never think personal. you won that battle, but that was a he was cooking. Example. I, but I, I had you winning that battle, man. See, when I analyze that battle again, and I took a pen and paper, don't get me wrong. Example showed he freestyled, he had some jokes, he had some punchlines. But if you go, I had too much layers of different shit. I had too many different angles and layers just go back. I had setups that had punchlines in them before you even got to the punchline. Watch that battle again. Did uh, you? No chill, no filter. King Kumanzi versus Example, and y'all can let me know who you think won. Did you see Jig giving me versus Example? I did. When he said Vixen told me that none of you niggas fuck. Nah, but really? I no, you know what? I know that line because it, <laughs> everyone that became it's a famous monkey line. That line went viral. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah, man, I want you to watch that battle and tell me who you had. But yeah, back to Lopez. Okay, so. Is it anybody else from Hoodlum Gang you want to call out, or is it just Killer B after this and you know him and walk in there? You mean you said Hoodlum Gang, Killer B with Body Gang? No, I know. Oh, you mean the Hoodlum and Gang? No, no, I'm saying, is it anybody else from Hoodlum Gang that you want to battle after you know what? I wouldn't. Lopez? Or or is it just straight to Killer B after it's this? It's straight to Killer B. I mean, if a motherfucker called me out anywhere and it's over some money, we can battle. But the thing is about Hoodlum Gang is I fucks with all of them. Right. Mike, I damn raised Mike from a long time. We meet Mike Eastside. That's like my little brother. Uh, motherfucking Tone Story is like my nephew, Kuji, my all as well, brother. Jay Lopez is my brother. I fucks with Larry Bull. So, no, I fucks with Hoodlum all the way through. Larry so, Bull, come outside, man. It's like a lad, man. It's for me. You know what I'm saying? I fucks with Hoodlum gang. They good for the culture. Man, you know what it is, man. We got the legendary King Kamazi in the motherfucking building, man. Although I can't just let you go that fast. Because we got to talk about this battle with Swain 7 that you had. Right, right. Okay, when you went out there, there was a little bias in the room. Yes, sir. What city was that in? That was in a city called, uh, I want to say, a small city in Jersey. I want to say Williamson Town or Williamsburg, Jersey. And maybe I, I'm not getting it right, but it wasn't that far from a city called, Bur no, I'm sorry. I believe it was in Burlington, New Jersey, like the coal factory. Burlington, New Jersey, Gates of the Garden. Salute Gates of the Garden with Dre Dennis. That was my first Gates of the Garden battle with Swave Several mm. when I was dead. The, but, uh, okay. Was the crowd like swaying towards Swave or was Man, it? Man, I'm going to keep it honest. A lot of people make excuses. I body Swave. It was a one round. I beat Swave Sever. He even had someone else spit some bars. They tried to call himself jumping me in a one rounder. I don't think Swave was prepared and he admitted it. The, you could feel the energy of the crowd. Some of them was fucking with me. You could hear it. But there was definitely silence. I was saying haymakers. I mean, how you say some shit like what I say to Swave Sever? So you in the Chinese martial arts? Well, I'm in the Chinese cooking. Two sticks, fire round, Chinese walk. Bullets get the ricochet off everything. Ping Kong Ching, shit sound like when the Chinese talk. <laughs> That's the type of shit I was saying to Swave Sever. Yeah. In Jersey, in the East Coast crowd. And remember, that was also Swave Sever's 
first time ever being on the gates as well. So people came from Jersey to see Sway Sappa, who's legendary in battle rap from the old school grind time era. And they did not want to see an unknown motherfucker like the ball head assassin from Milwaukee. Well, I was bucks fitted in that motherfucker too. Come up and kill one of their favorite East Coast legends on the East Coast. And I only came with one person. I came with no gas, none. Nice. Just straight lyrics and bars. Watch that one too. Gates of the Garden, King Kamanzi versus Swave Seven. It's out. Yeah, you already know what it is, man. The legendary King Kamanzi in the building, man. July 17th. July 17th. Jay Lopez versus King Kamanzi. SummerSlam. Black Elite Battle League. What are we doing? Come out. In fact, I'm calling everybody out. All the other leagues come out. We got to stop this. Other leagues don't support other leagues. I fuck with all the leagues in Milwaukee. I've been to every league. I got a free ticket for every league owner in Milwaukee. Hear what he said? In the Midwest. Any league owners that want to pull up, I got a free ticket. If you a battle rap G-Gray, Black Ice, John Doe, everybody pull up, man. I'm going to be a y'all shit. That's cross promotion. Come out. It's going down. SummerSlam. King Kamanzi versus J. Lopez. Black Aladdin versus A. Ward. Killer B versus Catboy, Jig versus Floss the Boss, Steezy, come bring a fucking solution from the problem child and bring your ass out, goddamn. <laughs> Let's go, man. Let them know where to follow you at and where to cop some of your juices, too. King Kumanzi, you can follow me on IG, Facebook, Twitter, um, Red Hydrant. I also got some new herbal products called Father Time Herbal Bitters, Digestion, the shit that helps you prevent. You from catching the COVID, circulation, constipation, blood purification. You don't got to go to the doctor for them high-priced pills that'll kill you. Come holler at your brother. I'm the ghetto scientist, witch doctor in a hood near you, baby. Real talk, man. You know what it is. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Much love, bro. Always, little brother. July 17th, man. Tap in. Lopez, you better bring your A game.